Are you having trouble getting your Arlo to connect to your internet? Don't worry, follow all the steps that I mentioned in this video and I assure you that you will have your Arlo connected to your phone in no time. Most Arlo cameras, barring a few Pro models, can only connect to a 2.4 GHz network and not the newer 5 of 6 GHz Wi-Fi networks. Arlo, like most other smart home brands, opts for this since the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks offer a wider coverage compared to the newer bands while offering good enough speeds to sustain the operations of the camera. Your phone with the Arlo app should also be connected to the same 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi during the pairing process. Since most Wi-Fi routers nowadays come with at least dual-band connectivity, aka both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz network support, you will have to make sure that your Arlo has registered the 2.4 GHz network specifically. If you have an older router, then it's most definitely a 2.4 GHz network. Some of the newer routers also tend to combine both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz network bands into a single band that they call a smart band. In such cases, it is best to create a separate 2.4 GHz network specifically to connect to all your smart home devices like Arlo. You can do this by accessing your router gateway or getting help from your service provider. If you have a network-wide VPN or ad blockers enabled, it could conflict with your Arlo connection. If you're on a free plan, your internet speeds are also compromised, meaning your Arlo won't be able to properly function even if you get your Arlo connected to your network. So, it is best to disable your VPNs and other network masks if you want to seamlessly connect with your Arlo. If you're facing these Wi-Fi connectivity issues during your device setup, then you will need to understand the underlying problem first. Arlo cameras have LED indicators that help convey any issue that it comes across and it is important to keep an eye during setup. But first and foremost, make sure that your Arlo is in range of your Wi-Fi at least 10 to 15 feet during the initial setup. Arlo cameras like the essential Indo second generation that I have here pass to your phone using Bluetooth. So after logging into your Arlo account and setting up your device for pairing, first make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled on your phone. Next, make sure that the LED lights blink blue during the whole setup. The LEDs can time out if the setup takes longer than 2 minutes. If that happens, just press the sync button once again to reinstate the setup process. If signal strength is an issue, you can invest in a Wi-Fi extender or a mesh network. If you're still facing trouble connecting to your Wi-Fi, try power cycling the device. A power cycle will help get rid of any static charge buildup inside the device and refresh the intels on the whole. To power cycle your Arlo cameras, simply unplug it from power and plug it back in after a minute. If your Arlo uses batteries, replace the pack with a fresh one. And while you're at it, I recommend that you also power cycle your internet router since that can also help refresh the signal. The process is the same. Unplug your router and plug it back in after a minute. If nothing works, try factory setting your camera. By resetting your camera, it reverts to its original default configuration, ensuring a clean slate for operations. To factory set your Arlo, press and hold the sync button for about 15 seconds till the camera LED blinks blue and then amber three times. The reset should take about 30 seconds, after which you can proceed to set up your device like new. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing an Arlo that simply won't connect to your network. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Arlo content like this.